my name's Johan Lauer and I'm a French guitarist, uh, obviously. Um, I just wanted to drop another legato lick your way for the start of the week, something you can work on throughout the week if you want to. Um, if you want to tag me on, uh, if you wanted to tag me on Instagram and videos of you playing it and that sort of thing, that'd be cool. This is a bad hat, uh, but I just washed my hair, so it's all fluffy. Um, so here's the lick slow. It's going to be very stretchy because there's a low uptake on these videos anyway, so I wanted to make it something difficult for me. Uh, so the lick slowly, that's it kind of fast-ish. Uh, slowly it's this. So we're in C minor, mostly pentatonic, but with this added D. So C minor, pentatonic. Uh, or E flat major. Um, and we're playing mostly legato at the end, there's a little bit of a sweep pitch little figure. Um, the thing to be wary with this thing, and this kind of thing, is to try and keep your hand relaxed and kind of listen to your body a bit. And if you're starting to feel loads of tension in your hand, it's probably a good idea to give it a rest. Um, you're going to try and keep things relaxed, but naturally with legato, you're going to need a certain amount of tension and pressure to get the notes to ring out. But it might be less than you think, so just experiment with that. Um, Muting-wise, I want you to think about uh, sort of closing your hands around like a, a I don't know, a tube or something. So that's the way that I approach muting. I'm muting with these fat bits of my finger, uh, anything that's lower than the, the string that I'm playing, and this part of my hand is what I'm using to mute what's above the stuff that I'm playing. Uh, so that's kind of how I think about legato. And same as always, practice it slow to start with. So let's check out something with a metronome and try and actually play it. When you're practicing this your hand will get tired at points so don't forget to take a break so this is a bit of a tricky one for me as well um, so this is something I'm going to practice on a bit more I'm going to drop in a video now of me trying to play it in context yeah the tab for it and the backing track will be on patreon if you want it um, but hopefully this is a kind of fun one once we get it under our fingers it's kind of a cool sound nick I think <laughs> Let me know how you get on with learning this lick. Uh, sorry about the stretches, um, but these are kind of some of the ways that I like to get cool sounds out of pentatonics and that sort of thing, and legato lines that sound a little bit different to some of your usual stuff. Um, if you do learn it and uh, work on it through the week, uh, film yourself playing it and put it on Instagram, and I'll repost that in my story if that's the sort of thing you want. But yeah, have a fun time with it, and uh, remember to start slow and try and keep things kind of even. That's kind of the key to making this stuff sound uh, smooth, I think, is an evenness to your playing. Um, and yeah, let me know how you get on with it. Um, I'll catch you soon. <laughs>